Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Apex. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix out the CPU bottleneck while you're gaming on your PC and how to fix out the single person CPU usage. So, guys, this settings will be help out you to guys increasing the performance of your PC while you're gaming on it or also the FPS. So, guys, the first thing which you need to do to guys is simply create a power plan or just some tweaks out here for Windows. So, guys, this is also depend on to the games which you are playing. Like, if you are playing the GTA 5, so there is a lot of settings you can change and guys fix out with this issue. But I'm just showing you for the basic or for all the guys' games. So, guys, just make sure to watch this complete video. So, guys, first of all, this is the guys' most effective pack for the fixing out your CPU bottleneck. So guys just download it from the description link down there just after downloading this pack you will uh, need to extract it on your desktop just right click here and extract it here on your desktop. So guys here is the folder of the CPU bottleneck. Here is the software which is the first is the MSI after burner. We are going to just increase our performance of your CPU little bit and also over RAMs and other things. So guys first of all. You need to just simply install the MSI Afterburner on your PC. For installing it, just double click here. So guys, this also ask you for installing the uh, Static Java Tuner on your PC. So just click OK and also install the software which is the Eva Tuner Static Server. So just click on the next button, I accept all the terms and conditions. Click next, mix and install the software on your PC. So guys, here just after installing the Static uh, Eva Tuner and also the MSI Afterburner on your PC, just uncheck the read only and just finish all the step from here. Now just click on to the uh, run the MSI Afterburner and click on this finish button and guys here is the interface of the MSI Afterburner for your PC. So guys we are going to not use the MSI Afterburner for overclocking our PC, overclocking our CPU or GPU. We actually use uh, uh, another software which is the static Uber tuner which is also come with it. So guys uh, you can check it out here when we go on to the Windows search and just type here Reva. So guys here is the Reva static tuner. So guys here is the interface of the Riva static tuner server so guys we are going to just use some settings here so first of all you need to just simply add that game which you play here so i'm just adding here my fortnite to go into the, this pc and go for where you install your game so this is the fortnite fortnite games binary win64 and here is the launcher file of the uh, fortnite client uh which is for shipping so just select out this first file click on this open button and just simply uh, check it out here you can uh, here is our fortnite launcher file now just click on to this button and here is the main option which we are going to use here so guys this is the frame limit actually this settings will be help us to guys uh, fixing or control over cpu bottleneck so if you have a really low end pc so just set it on to the 60 fps and press enter and guys if you have a good pc like if you are uh, constantly get the 150 fps or 200 fps on your pc so just simply log down this app is onto the 120 and guys just simply minimize the software in your background and guys it is also running in your background always so just after doing out it now go for the next step so go into the boost pack again here is another software for the cpu which is the quick cpu setup so just double click here and also install this uh, software on your pc click next i accept the all the license and term and just simply install the software on your pc and guys here is the interface of the quick cpu setup so guys now we are going to just uh, do some settings here into the software which will guys help us a lot to guys fixing out our cpu and also increase the performance of our cpu or all pc into the gaming so guys the first thing which you need to do to guys is simply set out your core parking onto the 100 percent your frequency scaling onto the 100 percent and also select out here the power plan for the high performance just after selecting out the high performance, click here on the set this as activated and just after doing out it, now you need to click on to this apply button. Click OK. Go for the advanced CPU settings and guys here is another option for your CPU. So just guys make sure to set out this uh, performance onto the max performance and apply the settings and close out it and also close the quick CPU. So guys now we are going to just simply disable out all the unnecessary background applications on your pc this is the solution one for fixing out your windows so go for the window settings here go into the window settings 
guys now go for the private sections and just go into the background application you can check it out here i already have disabled all the background application on my pc just click onto this button and just disable out all of the background application from here you can also go into the task manager go for the startup application and guys here is a lot of application which is running on your startup when you turn on your pc so we are going to just disable out the startup application like here is the unit i am using it so therefore i am not disabling out it here is the advanced system uh clear tray so just right click here and disable this uh software on your pc like guys this i have already done a lot of guys disable the a lot of software on my pc already so just after disabling out it now also go into the performance tab and check it out here if an other or the uh software which is guys consuming a lot of your cpu so just simply disable out that software or you can also restart your pc so guys just after doing out it now we're going to go for the next step and guys this is about our gpu so guys now you need to just simply update your driver i already make a lot of video for your gpu like how can you do the best settings for it so guys now i'm going to show you how can you download the quick driver for your gpu model for the AMD user, just go on to the amd.com slash en support site. I also give you the link of the site into the descriptions. So just go there and just download your driver from this site. So guys, here is the interface of the AMD driver site. So just click on this download button for downloading the architect driver. But I will recommend you to go with the manual method. Just click on this graphic mode, select out your GPU model and just click the GPU model again and click on the submit button guys it will take you onto the next page where you can select out the operating system which you have like i have the windows 10 64 bit so just click on the windows 64 bit and just click on the download button and download the driver for your pc for the nvidia user it is also the simple and the easy so just type here nvidia driver it will take you here onto the side which is the download the driver for the nvidia so open up this first link and guys select out the all the detail of your gpu and just simply download and update it simply on the pc so guys just after doing all it next we are going to just disable out some unused application or the services which is running on our pc so just go into the properties of your this pc right click on your pc go for the properties and go for the device manager now guys go for the system devices you can check it out here here is the system devices find out the high precision event timer just right click here and disable this device on your pc click yes close out it and guys here it's done now go for the windows search and just type here run press enter and this time now type here ms config so guys the system configuration window will pop up on your screen go for the boot section go into the advanced options and from here just check mark here onto the enable the number of processor and select out the maximum number of processor which you have on your PC. Also, when you check mark here onto the maximum memory which you have, so it will also give you this option. Click OK, apply the settings and click OK again. And guys, it will fix out your high CPU usage while you're gaming on your PC. So guys, I hope so. You will like this video and also subscribe to my channel. So guys, till at the next video, Allah Hafiz and bye bye.